On the occasion of the 16th annual L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Awards, My Science Work spoke with past laureate Professor Maya Nazatz about the need to encourage more girls into scientific fields. The question is, will this take large-scale efforts imposed from above or many small initiatives? I'm positive that small initiatives will be, will be more effective. I think that you have to contaminate young people with the virus of curiosity and to make them believe that science is fun. It's a lot of fun. And I think that we as scientists, we can be a role model showing that you can be a scientist and a normal person that we like to have, we want to have family, we want to have children, we like to go to movies. The difference is that we have a morbid curiosity. <laughs> we are extremely curious. And that's fun, that's the nice thing about science because it's a puzzle that you can work on all your life because every time you answer a question, there are many other questions that start. And that's what moves you to the questions, the questioning, something that bother you in the middle of the night. <laughs> if we need more small local initiatives, do you think that there are, are means of communication that are underused? Do you have some examples or ideas of creative ways of getting science into the culture? Yes, first I think that the net, the internet is very important. Uh, Twitter and Facebook and all these communications are very important. And we are thinking on other initiative in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. We want to start a new program in the metros uh, well, we'll have um, posters, big posters, with very uh, questions that will be very challenging. Uh, and, and then the only people have their uh, cellular phone, so they can answer the question, they can be connected immediately to the, what is being asked, and then they can continue playing with their cellular phone. Bringing science into our daily lives to the point that it's on our commute, it's on our transport. Ex exactly. So not only children, but the mother, the father can, can also be uh, challenged by the questions and come back home and, and communicate and talk about it with the family. Even when we do see women going into science, maybe they come from a developing country and they get trained in another place, you were speaking about some problems and an idea to, uh, to send them home with a dowry. Yes. <laughs> Could you explain that? Uh, what, what happens with uh, young people, young scientists that for undeveloped countries, they go abroad, they learn a lot, uh, but then if they go back to their country, they, they cannot, they don't have money to continue the research, they don't have a lab. So if they could have uh, support to start a new lab, or to have money to be integrated in an older lab, but the lab will, have, will be happy to open a, a new place for them. The university will be uh, happy to, to open a new position. I think this will make a big difference.